So we can look at these two examples and we can see plasma doesn't really exist in normal conditions, like in everyday temperatures on Earth. And that's because plasma needs two main things to form. It needs either really, really high temperature, which we have in the sun, so a lot of heat energy, or it needs a really strong electric current. It needs lots of electricity. High electric current. Or a better way to say that is high electric energy needed. And that's how lightning happens. There's a lot of energy that builds up in the clouds until finally the lightning bolt strikes and that causes plasma to be made. So the next thing we'll do is understand how plasma actually gets made. And to do that we need to go back and have a look at atoms. So remember, atoms are the particles that make up all matter. They're the smallest whole particles. And atoms are made up of three main features. We have the nucleus in the middle, which is made of protons and neutrons. And then around the outside, which is the important part, we have electrons flying around. And electrons, they have a negative charge. So we often draw electrons as a circle with a little negative symbol. Whereas protons, on the other hand, they have a positive charge. So we can see every atom, the middle part, or the nucleus, it has a positive charge overall. Because neutrons, they have no charge, so we can ignore them for now. So the middle, the nucleus is positive, and all around the outside, in this cloud, where the electrons are flying, that's all negative. And what scientists have discovered is that if there's enough heat or enough electrical energy that comes in, which is what we mentioned before, if we have enough heat or electrical energy, then some of the electrons can actually fly off and be taken away from the atom where normally they'd stay flying around inside it. So suddenly, electrons fly off and they move around on their own. And that leaves the atom to have an overall positive charge now, because it's lost some negative charge. So the way this works with a material is a material starts as a gas, so it's already got individual particles and they're flying around just like a normal gas. But then when enough heat energy or electrical energy comes in, the electrons fly off, which is what we're showing here, and they fly around separately to the rest of the atoms. So we have three electrons, and we have atoms with a positive charge, and these are called ions. Positively charged atoms. So overall, plasma we can think of as similar to a gas, but 
It's made up of ions and electrons. And here are a few more useful ways that we use plasma in our society. The first one here is to make sparks, like in spark plugs in the car, which start the engine, or to light the stove, or light the barbecue. We can see there's a tiny bit of plasma down here in the spark. So when we see sparks, they're really just plasma. And we also have neon signs. They light up because they're filled with plasma when we turn on the electricity. And in industries, they often use plasma torches, which create lots and lots of heat, and they can be used to weld metals together and join them together, or they can be used to cut metal, which is a really difficult thing to do normally. So therefore cutting or welding materials.